Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case we haven't met before, I'm Anastasia, the founder of All You Can Face, and I'm passionate about teaching you how to exercise your facial muscles. Because what happens beneath the skin is equally important as what we put on top of it to stay looking beautiful and age gracefully. <laughs> With all you can face, my goal is that you understand yourself better, your skin better, because the more you know about yourself, the better you can make choices in terms of your skin, in terms of your lifestyle, and truly become the best version of yourself. And today, I would love to talk about scarring, because my entire life, I actually suffered from severe acne. Active acne can be already frustrating enough and trust me, I know because I've been there. I literally tried to cover everything up with makeup or ran home and start popping Ouch. all the pimples which annoyed me and it caused a vicious cycle because not only my skin got even more inflamed, but also it produced literally spots and marks afterwards which were healing way much longer than if I were not to touch those pimples at all. So the first step in order to cure your acne scars or marks is first of all not to try to pop them constantly and to get the right acne treatment. However, Acne treatment and scar treatment are completely different things. While acne treatment can obviously reduce your acne and also help your skin heal faster, scar treatment can sometimes even interfere with your acne treatments. So first things first, try to look into acne treatments and then let's get rid of the scars. And I actually made a video on my acne journey which might help you to help with your acne, so I will link this down this video below. But before we start talking about all the scars that there are, let's understand the skin a little bit better. And of course there are a lot of layers of the skin, but we will focus today on the main three ones, so we understand what the skin is built of and how scars can even occur. So there is the epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. And the epidermis is the upper layer of your skin. And it contains no blood vessels, so it's really dependent on the dermis to get all the nutrients in. The epidermis is also producing pigments and is vital for our immune system, so it's basically protecting you from the outer world. Let's talk about the dermis, the second layer, and it's much thicker than the epidermis, mainly one to five millimeters. Its primary role is actually to sustain and protect the epidermis. So it protects us from water loss, allergens and other pollution. So the dermis is also vital for wound healing and also helps as a cushioning for all the below layers so you are protected from mechanical bumps and hits. Now let's get to the hypodermis which is basically below the dermis and consists mainly out of fat. Its primary function is actually to protect you from the cold and shock absorption and is interlaced with blood vessels. Now that we have a basic understanding of the skin, let's talk about the four main scar types which occur after injury. The first one is the hypertrophic scar and it usually has a red appearance which builds over your skin and doesn't extend to your initial injury. Then there are keloid scars which also build over your skin and actually can extend over the initial injury and fraction. The third one is the contractual scar, which usually is built when you burned yourself. It can lead to tightening of the skin, which can even inhibit joint movement after a while. And the fourth one would be our acne scars, which we will talk about today. And they can be really deep or shallow, and there are obviously also several types to acne scarring. So there are four types of acne, and the sebaceous glands and the hair follicles, which are based in the second layer and the dermis of the skin sometimes gets clogged and then you get this pimple. And the first type of acne would be papules, which are those red bumps when you touch them, they're kind of hurting. Then you have those pustules, which are filled with pus and are usually white on the top and red around. The third one is nodules. These are usually bigger than the first two and are also hurting because they're really like rooted deeper in the skin. And the last type is cysts, which are really rooted deep in your skin, filled with pus, are hurting as hell and are very likely to cause scarring. 
So what causes actually acne scarring? Before you try to treat it, I would suggest to really go to a dermatologist who can really look at your scarring and tell you what kind of scars they are and also make sure that it's truly scars and not something else in your skin. Your body is an incredible mechanism and will also start to fight this inflammation and start to fight this acne generally. And the first step would be the creation of collagen. So collagen is a protein built naturally by our body and makes up a third of all the protein in our body. It's basically there to keep your skin elastic and rid of wrinkles. And if the collagen is produced while you have an inflammation or a pimple healing, then too much collagen can cause scarring. But sometimes you also have not enough tissue and this will cause an indentation or like literally like a little hole in your skin. And so you have several acne scar subtypes. And these would be scars such as ice pick, box scar and rolling, hypertrophic scars or hyperpigmentation. There are also different kind of scars where those five types I just mentioned go under. And these are atrophic and depressed scars. So let's talk about the atrophic scars first. These are our box scar, ice pick and rolling scars. These are the ones which are built when not enough collagen is there and are mostly on our faces and lie below the skin. So box scar is something like a U-shaped in your skin and the more shallow they are, the better they react to surfacing treatments. Then the ice pick scar is like some V-shaped scar which can go really deep into your skin and looks like a hole. And these are the most difficult to treat because they really go deep into the skin and really deep into several layers. And then we have the rolling scars, which are deep depressions and usually irregular on the edges. Now let's talk about the hypertrophic scars, which are usually the ones over your skin and you will find them mainly on your chest and back. They are usually due to overproduction of collagen and this is why you get these little bumps. And also let's talk about the dark spots. These are usually the spots which leave after a zit is healed and it takes like weeks until you really get rid of that dark spot. These are not really scars and can be treated with ingredients we will talk about now. And the first ingredient would be our AHAs, which are derived from sugarcane or other plants. And this is why they are most often referred as fruit acids. And they are great for sun damaged skin or drier skin because they also enhance moisture production in the skin. So AHAs can help you make your scarring appear less noticeable and also help to unclog the pores and leave you with a nice and smooth complexion. So AHAs are amazing for all skin types and really work on the upper layer of the skin to resurface it and keep it smooth and unclogged. And another form of AHAs is also lactic acid, which is derived from milk. Other examples of AHAs also glycolic acid or citric acid. The second ingredient on how to treat acne scars would be retinoids. Retinoids is a form of vitamin A, which is derived from plants and animals. It's an amazing acne treatment with scar smoothing benefits. So it will help with skin regeneration and cell turnover and also will make your scars less visible. And the third ingredient is salicylic acid, which is our BHA, which is a beta hydroxy acid. This is a stronger acid and goes really deep into the skin and can sometimes even dry out your skin if you use it over excessively. Nevertheless, it's an amazing product to unclog your pores. And if you use it regularly throughout the weeks, you can see really a huge reduction in acne and also in, in the visibility of your scars. And the last ingredient or the last product actually is sunscreen. Because if you suffer from acne scars, then yes, they can become even darker when you are exposed to the sun constantly and even enlarged. So never ever forget your sunscreen. Obviously sunscreen has so many amazing other benefits. So this should be really a staple in your daily skincare routine. As you can see, there's so many causes for acne, for acne scars. There are also so many different kinds of scars. And then within the world of the scars, there are also all kinds of different acne scarring. So there's not one size fits all solution. And in my opinion, I would absolutely go to a dermatologist and really have a personal consultation when it comes to acne and acne scarring, because when you see some product in the store, which promises you to get rid of acne, then it might not be the one for you because it really depends on what acne you have, what acne scars you have, and also which treatment would be the best for you. 
I hope this video gave you an overall introduction into the world of the scars and how to also prevent them, treat them, what they are actually. And so if you're really interested in becoming the best version of yourself, know more about your skin, about skin hacks and how to actually massage and exercise your facial muscles, then hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel. I can't wait for your comments and questions. And if you want to make facial exercises part of your routine, check out allyoucanface.com because I have a program which will daily help you to really exercise your face, which also can help with pigmentation and scarring because I have tons of students which came in with a patchy skin and after a while due to lymphatic drainage, due to increased blood circulation, really could improve their complexion. So with this being said, I wish you a wonderful day and can't wait to see you next week. Till then, mwah.